Wrexham is probably the most popular team in EFL League 2 right now due to their owners. And I've taken the mission to make them strongest football club in Europe with unlimited money. I'm just kidding. With zero money in the bank and with the help of the best youth scouts of the world. I'm going to fill this team with UK Youth Academy only. I even hired the scouts from United Kingdom, if this Italian guy was actually British. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> As you can see, we sold our best players to a Ford scouting system for this year. Yes, we are going to have only one year to complete the scouting mission. This is going to be the objective of upcoming season. Firstly, we are going to send our Welsh scout Nathan Griffin to Wales to find goalkeeper. For first three months, our Scottish scout Riley Stewart will be heading to Scotland to find some defensive-minded players. And last scout Roberto Olivieri will go to England to find some physically strong players. No players from UK initially in Youth Academy, I'm releasing them all. Ok guys, we have our first scouting reports. We got this guy, Freddie Burnett, he has pretty low market value but good potential, let's sign him. We also got this guy, Joel Crook, great market value, 2 million pounds. Nice. And he has a wide range of potential, from 65 to 91, let's sign him. Joel Crook is 67 rated already, great talent, let's promote him to main team, he will be the highest rated player in our team. And next guy, Freddie Burnett, is a center forward lefty. Maybe we can convert him to a position in defense because he only has 40 shooting but 57 defending. As he is pretty tall, 6.2, let's convert him to a center back. I don't see any good talents from Scotland. Okay, this one is very interesting. Lewis Houston, almost 1 million pound market value and great potential, let's sign him. He is 5.9, much better physical and defensive rather than passing or dribbling capabilities on him. And cause he's righty, we are going to convert him to a right back. And last but not least, let's check whether we got good keepers. I don't think so, we don't have any good goalkeeper yet. We didn't find any good goalkeepers in the second month of scouting in Wales as well. We got this guy, Alistair Manson from Scotland, £825,000 market value, good potential, let's sign him. And right next to him we got Ben Kirkwood as well, 850000 market value. Manson is centre back, good, 61 rated already, and Kirkwood is a right back. In this case, we can train Houston to become a CDM instead of a right back. It will take him two more weeks. Let's sign Ronnie Camp, although he has low market value but pretty decent potential. We got this guy Rory McLean, 800,000 market value, let's sign him as well. And finally we got good keeper Rodri Gilly, 15 years old, 950,000 market value. 76 to 94 potential, we may be sorted in goalkeeper position. But I can't see any backup for him, let's sign this guy, Nathan Payne. Rodri Gilly is 62 rated, with great potential, he will definitely be our number one. And Rory McLean is 60 rated left back. Although we don't have any left back yet, let's convert him to a right back because he's right footed. Ronnie Camp is center midfielder with good pace, good physical and decent defending, let's convert him to a left back. Lewis Houston, after converting from center midfielder to CDM, went up 6 in his rating, now he's 65 rated and he's already can be promoted to senior team. We have good foundation for backline, good goalkeeper and a decent backup, good center backs in Manson and Burnett will be a center back as well. We already promoted Crook and Houston to main team. This time we are sending our Welsh scout Nathan Griffin to Northern Ireland to find some playmaker. Our Scottish scout will be heading to England to find some attackers and Roberto Olivieri will be going to Wales to find physically strong players. We have found this guy Donald Corrigan 1.1 million pounds market value. Donald Corrigan 62 rated center midfielder, great stats on him. Kemp is 56 rated as a left back and he has great potential. We have two good right backs in Ben Kirkwood and Rory McLean, let's promote both of them. We can also promote Alistair Manson to senior team. We got only one player in month of November, it is Tyler Barton, 71 to 94 potential, approximately 400,000 market value, but let's sign him and check the stats. 
He's 53 rated right midfielder, but I'm pretty sure we can convert him to a striker. Let's convert Freddie Burnett from center forward to center back. He went up 13 in his rating, now he's 60 rated. 5 star skiller center back, let's promote him to senior team. And our goalkeeper Rodri Gilly is already 16 and we are going to promote him as well. Will Langley has decent market value of 525,000 pounds and good potential, let's sign him. He is a center forward, maybe we can try to convert him to a striker. We have Martin McMahon, a calm 61 rated, Tyler Barton nice 57 rated striker. We are halfway through the scouting system, defense is sorted, got couple of attackers, but we are lacking wide players. We got this guy, Leo Barton, 875,000 market value, let's sign him. Gavin Kaplan is a left back, but according to his stats, he would be decent in attacking position playing wide. And lastly, we are going to send Nathan Griffin to England to find some wingers. Riley Stewart will be searching in Scotland for attackers. We have come to an end of the first season in EFL League 2 and we actually promoted to EFL League 1 with 82 points. We got Malcolm White, 775,000 market value, 77 to 94 potential, he can solve the problem in one of the flanks. Malcolm White is a striker, let's convert him to a left midfielder. Gavin Coughlin, we converted him from left back to a left midfielder, he is 60 rated now. And we are officially done with scouting. It was really fast. That's what she said. <laughs> First objective is completed. Best UK Youth Academy is created. Let's head to season 2. We are in the beginning of the second season. We decided to switch formation. Now we are using 4-4-2. In goal we have Gilly. He's from Wales. McLean as a right back. He's from Scotland. Center back sparing and left back. Crook, Burnett and Kemp representing England. Mac Mahon, he is from Northern Ireland, a right midfielder. Houston from Scotland, center defensive midfielder. White, he is from Scotland as well. And up top we got Langley and Gould for now. They are both from England. In academy we also have six players. Maybe we can promote Mike White to senior team. All other players are 15 years old. And also we got a bunch of players on loan this season. We have come to the end of the second season and we are only 9th in EFL League 1, this was to be expected. In Emirates FA Cup we were eliminated from Manchester United in round 3, we lost first match against Huddersfield in Carabao Cup and we did not won even BSM trophy. Great season from Will Langley 20 and 2, also good season from Lewis Houston 9 and 8. We converted Lewis Houston back to center midfielder. He is now the main talent of our team. Tyler Barton, one year on loan and he is now 68 rated striker. Exciting prospect. In goal we have Gilly, McLean, Crook, Burnett and Kemp in defense. In right midfielder position we have White, we are going to convert him from left midfielder to right midfielder. In the center of the puck we have Houston and Corrigan, he is from Northern Ireland. Left midfielder we have Coughlin, he has come strong, 70 rated left midfielder from his loan. He represents Wells and up top we have Langley and Barton, he is also from England. We are going into the third season with three objectives. To win EFL League 1, got 90 plus points and also win BSM trophy. We won EFL League 1 with 96 points. In Emirates FA Cup we lost to Man United 3-0. In Carabao Cup we lost to Chelsea 4-3 on penalties. No BSM trophy for us. This was the last chance for us to win this trophy. In terms of stats it is Will Langley 20 and 9. Good season from Tyler Barton as well 16 and 0. As well as from Donald Corrigan 10 and 9. Before jumping to season 4, I wanna thank you all for the love and support, it is very much appreciated. And if you like this content, don't hesitate to comment and subscribe. Here is the team in the beginning of the fourth season. Pretty much the same squad. Let's check playstyle and playstyle classes for our players. Far throw footwork and rush out for goalie. Intercept and anticipate for McLean. Intercept aerial for crook. No playstyle for Burnett. Whipped pass and press proven for our left back. Intercept and slide tackle for Corrigan. Trivella only for Houston. White has technical and trickster. Coughlin is only relentless. Langley with no playstyle and Barton with flair and Trivella. None of our players has four or more playstyles. Hopefully they can get some playstyle pluses next season.
The objectives for fourth season will be to get promoted to Premier League and won either Carabao or FA Cup. I was not correct expecting direct promotion. We have only 72 points and we are 8th in the league. No FA Cup or Carabao Cup for us as well. And in terms of stats it is this time Tyler Barton, 30 goals and 7 assists, 13 and 1 for Langley, 12 and 3 for Coughlin. We are in the beginning of the fifth season. Our captain is Rodri Gilly, Welshman, 19 years old, showing great potential, 78 rated. In left back position we have Ronnie Kemp, two centre backs Burnett and Joel Crook, all there representing England. In right back position we have Rory McLean from Scotland. In left mid position we have Gavin Coughlin, Welshman, 20 years old, has potential to be special. Two midfielders in the center of the field. Daniel Corrigan representing Northern Ireland, exciting prospect 78 rated. As well as Lewis Houston, has potential to be special, representing Scotland. In right mid position we have Malcolm White, also from Scotland, exciting prospect. And the main force up front, two Englishmen, Will Langley and Tyler Barton. Both players have potential to be special. Objectives are pretty much the same for this season. Gain automatic promotion, win one of the cups, achieve 90 plus points. We are actually second, but we got 91 points. But sadly we didn't get any of the cups. And in terms of stats, it is Tyler Barton 25 and 3, Will Langley 23 and 7, and good season from Malcolm White 12 and 10. We are done and dusted for Premier League. Lowest rated players in the team are Barnett and Corrigan on 80 rating, and highest are Houston and Barton with 87 rating. We are in the beginning of the sixth season, and objectives in this season is to finish in top four in Premier League and win one of the cups. Let's simulate this season and see whether we can finish in top 4 and play Champions League next season. I definitely wasn't expecting this. We won Premier League from the first attempt. 82 points, 25 wins, 7 draws and 6 losses. And yet again we didn't won any of the cups. In terms of stats it is Barton 23 and 5, 22 and 2 for Will Langley and 16 and 14 for Gavin Coughlin. We are starting 7th season with match against Manchester United for Community Shield. And we won it 3-1, first trophy of the season. For this season we are aiming to win Premier League, Champions League, got 40 plus goals with one of the strikers and of course win one of two cups. I definitely wasn't sure that we were good enough to pull this off. We won Premier League with 90 points. We hit 90 points threshold in EFL League 1 Championship and now in Premier League. We didn't won any of the cups again. And in Champions League we were only third in the group with Bayern Munich, Inter and Galatasaray. But instead we are in the final of Europa League against Barcelona. So let's simulate this game. And we won 3-2, Crook, White and Barton with goals. In terms of goal, it is Tyler Barton, 51 goals and 14 assists. Okay, this is ridiculous. 65 goal contributions in 62 games, this is Ballon d'Or worthy numbers. So this season we failed to win Champions League and any of the domestic cups. I guess this is clearly indicates the targets for next season. Community Shield final and we won it on penalties 4-1 and very next game is for UEFA Super Cup and we lost this one 2-1 Paris Saint Germain beats us in extra time. We are invited to Ballon d'Or ceremony, Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland and Tyler Barton are nominated. And yes, Barton won it. He has been awarded with Ballon d'Or for the ridiculous season he had last year. Congratulations to Tyler Barton. We won Premier League back to back with 90 points, 3 consecutive titles, no Carabao Cup for us and we lost FA Cup final. Okay, I'm giving up on this. 
And in Champions League, we were first in the group with Valencia, Sporting and Basel. This is a sort of Europa League group. In the round of 16, we were lucky again, matching up with Rakov and winning 5-2. In quarterfinals, we beat Paris Saint-Germain 6-4 and 7-2 in aggregate in semi-finals against Real Madrid. And we are going to face Barcelona in the final of the Champions League. In terms of stats, it is again Tyler Barton. He is already 97 rated, 40 goals and 7 assists. 33 and 6 from Will Langley, 22 and 13 from Gavin Coughlin, 13 and 14 for Malcolm White. Before jumping to Champions League final, let's check our team. Lowest rated player is Corrigan, 88 rated, and highest rated is Barton, 97, Ballon d'Or winner already. Barcelona started game aggressively, but we have some space here. Barton plays with Langley, he passed defender easily, come on, shoots and 1-0 to us. Langley opened the score in Champions League final for Wrexham. We are with the ball again in Barcelona's half. Malcolm White plays great chip ball to Tyler Barton, touch an outstanding finish from Tyler Barton. He doubled our lead in great fashion. Barcelona is in attack. Baron Torres plays with Edwards. Edwards shoots and scores. 2-1. Barcelona is back in the game. 80th minute. We have great opportunity here. Tyler Barton with finesse. And he scored. 3-1. Two goals and assists from our leader. And that's it. We won Champions League for Wrexham. We needed for that 8th season, we started from the bottom of English football. In one season we gathered this amazing team with youth academy prospects only from United Kingdom. Our goalkeeper Gilly will now raise this trophy.